Hello everyone, welcome back to Pinet Labs. And uh, today in this part, we are going to cover up your analyzing the network tools and we are going to see how we are like, how many types of uh, monitoring tools are there. And we are going to see each and every tool over there and we will also try to, uh, you know, discuss all the things related to all these tools. So like, you know, whenever we are uh, looking at the top 10, networking monitoring tools. So there are some third party tools as well, and there are some inbuilt features and there are some commands as well, which throughout the session we are going to see. So, you know, like as per the network monitoring tools and the softwares, which like that are more and more companies are reliant on digital tools to ensure their business productivity and we can see the efficiency. So no one can afford to struggle with a network problem. And now the question is though, which network monitoring tools delivers the best results? So we are going to see some uh, examples of all the network tools throughout this entire video. So I'll be going on my Google Chrome screen and I will be showing you like what are the types of uh, we can say network monitoring tools here. So just let me share my screen. So the first tool we have is like we can say it's Spiceworks. So if you will see the Spiceworks. So Spiceworks is that we can say that uh, it is a it is free to use make uh, you know it is freely available to use and uh, like any company no matter what the size of the company it comes with a convenient web based GUI if you will see here like after the Spiceworks let me show you Spiceworks network monitor. So this is the spice work which I'm exactly talking about. So we will add all these links of all the particular, uh, you know, these uh, tools which we are going to see here. And this is basically a web based GUI for monitoring the performance and connectivity. So there is a dashboard here, like you can see some images are there. So it comes with a dashboard here, like you can see. So this, this is dashboard like which comes with some integrations, which is like we can see uh, available for other essential tools to connect in. You know, we can say multiple parts to say the cloud disk or inventory monitoring is also there. So like, you know, one of the tool you can say is your spice works. Then the number uh, we can say the next uh, tool we have to monitor the network we have is async. So this is the async monitoring tool. It's an open source approach for the network monitoring, which helps you to, you know, track the performance. You can see it's automatic application discovery distributed cell graphs are there, real-time business metrics and monitor the infrastructure metrics as well. But this is like an open source, which uh, you know can be configured through your GUI using your domain specific language to track all the metrics and crucial to your performance and management strategies accordingly. Then we have the next tool is known as ConnectWise. It's also a monitoring tool. So here we are going to see about the ConnectWise. That's right, ConnectWise monitoring tool. Now, so like whenever we are talking about the connect wise, so it's like an automate solution for suited networks with, you know, we can say with some modern one kind of scenarios. So here you can, you know, remotely and proactively monitor all the kinds of endpoints and networks with the, with the help of this connect wise automate. So this is one of the tool and, you know, like there can be some uh, automatic discovery for all the devices and your networks to make them more visible that there are a patch man there is a patch management tool as well like if you will go in the features there is a patch management tool third party patching remote monitoring is there it automation is there so if you'll go in the it automation part as well like you can see there are multiple options to automate the network accordingly and to also to monitor the automatic production networks which are working on the automation part and apart from that we have one more tool which is known as your zabex so this is one of you know the finest tool like which allows you to instantly instantly watch the things like uh, the packet loss rate network bandwidth and the device temperature issues in the matter of seconds so this zabbix has an active community spread around the world which is you know which gives the freedom to the users so it's also an open source solution without the risk of vendor lookup so you can see here like what are the supports and services technical services apart from that solutions if you will go so all these organize like industries are using Zabbix for their monitoring so like here you can see it's used for network monitoring server monitoring cloud monitoring application and like lots of things are going to be used by the Zabbix so 
it is basically one of the finance tool and you can see it is also going to collect the metrics from any source here like the network devices we can say os level monitoring log files and each and everything is basically included in the cebex then after this coming to the next tool which is your catch point this is your catch point so if we are talking about the catch point so we can say like it is something it is going to you know it is a kind of you know we can say uh, easy way to identify and visualize the interconnection and interconnections and peering issues across the network endpoints and it is going to also provide you the system uh, you know reliability which trans uh, which is going to transit the hybrid and backbone networks by proactively testing a as as per the customer point of view. So if you will go in the fine network, so you will see like there are lots of options in the network, like see DNS observability is there, network path observability is there, Wi-Fi is there, BCP also you can manipulate here. Like not manipulate, we can say we can say you are going to troubleshoot that as well. Now one of the best tool apart from this, we have the data dog. So if you will go in the data dog, so data dog is something like you know it's a network monitoring tool that gives you a complete view of your all like you know we can say it is also going to be used on the cloud and on premises network including the application layers and performance and health insights into any uh, you know like uh, we can say into every layer of your infrastructure while monitoring uh, from dns performance to application issues and like you know lot of things are included in this data dog as well like you can see here log management apm security monitoring network monitoring real time monitoring is there so if you go in the network monitoring so it is going to basically you know maintain each and everything and if you will go and find out all the features of this product so you can download free trials and you can use these uh, tools to get the free trials and here you can see analyze and explore explore log data in the context is there and you can proactively monitor the user experience according to the user so you can read more in detail about all these tools. We'll definitely add the description of all these tools in your link box. So you can go through and read about all these uh, monitoring tools. Now, finally, we have the most important, which is your solar winds. So like solar winds is basically, you know, it's one of the finance and, you know, we can say like the best performance monitor uh, kind of uh, tool, which is used to automatically track your availability with some advanced performance analytics and critical path visualization so we can say there is a, some access to intelligence mapping as well like you know here you can see like you can manage for it services for security observability network solutions so it is going to help you out in a lot of things if you are going to use solar winds because like you know uh, it is going to determine like where the connections are coming from and which applications or devices are consuming the most bandwidth and sort of things like that so these are some third party tools which we have discussed. Now, apart from that, we have some more tools like if I will be showing you. So we'll go and we'll discuss rest of the tools. So you can see that I am going to open my CMD here. So this is my command prompt. I'm going to increase the size of my command prompt so you people can see. OK, so here we have some tools like we have one command which is known as your ping. So ping is basically used to check the connectivity. So let's say if I want to check the connectivity of the network, so I am going to write ping and let's say what is my gateway. So if I want to see the IP and gateway, so IP config is the command. So here you can see my machine is having the IP address of 1.40. The default gateway is 1.1. So the first step of troubleshooting is guys, you can see ping 192 1.1. So we can check by troubleshooting uh, by pinging to our gateway that are we reaching till our gateway or not. So if we are reaching till our gateway, that means like there is no issue in between the network or if you want to check the rest of the connectivity, so you can write ping www.google.com. So you can try to check with uh, Google as well. So you are getting the replies with Google, which means like your connectivity is established. Once if you have no connectivity established with the link, so in that case, you know, you will not be able to get the replies. You will get some request timeout, like the way we see in the packet traces. Apart from that, this is one of the factor by pinging it. You can also ping to your loopback IP, which is 127.0.0.1 or any series you can use. So like after try to pinging with the loopback IP, you will see that your NIC card is also working functionally fine. So this is one of the method like you can also try to troubleshoot your NIC card. 
the next step is you can check the cables like there might be some cable errors some wrong color codes or you can say some duplex errors like there might be duplex mismatch speed mismatch could be a reason so apart from that you can also trace the route like how your packet is traveling so there is a command which is known as trace rt and trace rt 192.168.1.1 so you can see let's trace the google.com so we'll write trace rt www.google.com so after tracing google.com we will see all the intermediate hopes between uh, you know from your ip from your router to the router of google where we are tracing the route so you can see first my packet reached on my router which is 192.168.1.1 then the packet reached on 205.254 this is some uh, you know router of google as well in between like some intermediate hope we can say so this is how you are going to you know tra trace the routes as well and if you are working in a large enterprise network so you can also go and verify that all these tools by using some you know uh, we can say by tracing the routes like where your packet is reaching to and where it is not reaching so these are some uh, tools apart from that there is one more command which is ns lookup so with the help of ns lookup you can find out the ip of any particular specific website so i'm writing ns lookup www.google.com so you will see that i just got the ip address of google here so if i'm going to copy paste this ip so we'll, i have copied the ip will go in the google chrome and right now i'm not writing i'm simply pasting the ip and if i will write enter so we'll see which uh, case that is showing reload. Let me check here once again. OK, let's copy this address. And now we will try to paste the same address here. And now we will see. See, we got the Google screen here because this is something which is used for the DNS uh, server. Like with the help of this NS lookup, you can figure out the name of the server and you can also figure out the IP of that particular server, right? So this is one more command and apart from that, there is some one more tool which is known as Wireshark. So I will show you. So if you will write Wireshark, so this Wireshark is basically used to, you know, we can say to capture the traffic inside the network. So you can see right now I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. So back you will see a graphical representation over the Wi-Fi like the bar is going up and down here. So if I'm going to click on Wi-Fi and you will see like there are some packets which are generating right now as we are having some we can say audio video communication so as per the transport layer the identification of data is basically done via the tcp or udp protocol like which we are going to use right so you can see right now we are using uh, doing some audio video communication so some udp packets are being generated here right so this is one more tool through which you can capture the packets and you can also try to capture and uh, get the information of the entire Ethernet frames or whatever the data you are sending. So here in the information of frame, you will find that related uh, OSI frame layer. OSI models according to the data link layer, all that relevant information related to your frames. And in the Ethernet also like you have some IP protocol here as well. So each and everything like say this is my source address and this is my destination address where like my packet is reaching to. So this is how you can figure out and capture the packets as well inside the network. So these are some basic uh, monitoring tools with the help of these tools. You can monitor the entire network. So that's all for this session, guys. If, and we will try to add all the links for you in your description box. And you can go through and download any tool if you want to download. And uh, like you can try to practice over those tools as well. So. This, uh, this is all for your network analysis and all the network anal analysis tools. Thank you very much, everyone.